Sound design is, or at least in my own perspective, probably one of the most fundamental elements of telling any story. It matters so much and so often we give it little to no thought. When a commercial comes on your television, or you're out at the movie theater, or when you're playing your favorite video game, and most certainly your favorite music, it plays a crucial role in setting the tone and atmosphere. It's the creation of an experience. And without it, everything is lost. Nothing feels right. And it's one of the most important aspects to filmmaking. You can have the best camera quality in the world, but if your sound isn't there, it kills everything. This is true, so much so, that even Netflix has the platform set so that if the picture quality drops due to poor internet connection, the audio quality doesn't suffer. Take this example. As you can see, using this original audio, recorded from the built-in microphone of the camera, was never the best idea. By using my imagination in post, I'm able to shape how I want the scene to play out and how I want it to feel. The end result is much more impactful. Where do I begin? From an early age as far back as I can remember, I have always had a deep fascination with film and animation. I can't even tell you at what age exactly it started, but as I was growing up, I was always behind a camera, experimenting and creating. That aspect played out in my life for many years. And when I was a teenager, I picked up on playing music and used to play drums in the band and eventually branched out to other musical instruments. After a while, I stopped playing in bands and wanted to write and record my own music for a very long time, but I just didn't have the resources. In 2010, I discovered this band from Scotland called Boards of Canada and instantly fell in love with their music. A band consisting of two brothers born in Scotland who spent their early childhood in Canada naming their band after the National Film Boards of Canada. Much of their musical aesthetic was inspired by old 1970s and 80s Canadian film and television programming. They're distinctly known for their unique sound of evocative and haunting melodies, which puts the listener in a nostalgic, dreamlike state, with a lot of the times utilizing broken synthesizers, tape machines, and just old technology in general. The very first track I ever listened to of theirs blew my mind, enough so it changed the way I look at music and film. They were the catalyst that drove me into this obsession of wanting to recreate their sonic elements. Eventually, three years later, in early 2013, I was gifted an iMac computer where I started out using GarageBand and began experimenting with cassette tapes and trying to emulate the boards of Canada sound using elemental textures. This is truly where my journey of sound design really began. Not too long after, I purchased my copy of Ableton, which is where I really began understanding how to process and mix audio effects to create the desired sound. That's where I really started to grasp the concepts of sound design and began recreating ambient and 90s nostalgic dance music by running the master output through an old cassette tape emulation plugin. I love this concept of using damaged and mangled audio to create these interesting textures. 
My first experiments with production sound design came from creating cartoon characters and giving them voices, recording their dialogue and setting them in certain scenarios. Within doing so, I would build these sonic environments on top of their dialogue to build a story. Driver, driver, I'd like to get out here. I need to get off. I'm just gonna walk the rest of the way. Just look at him. I love putting the new guys on the main drag. I wonder how long he'll actually last. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm willing to bet you that we can get him to wear a monkey suit tomorrow when he comes in. A monkey suit? Monkey suit? How about a sombrero, a tutu, and dinosaur pajamas? <laughs> dinosaur pajamas? You're f***ing weird. Get a real job, you sign spinning f Oh yeah, buddy, up yours, you f***ing lowlife. At least I work for a living. F***ing freak! Hey, are you f***ing crazy? This is where I really knew sound design was my thing. For a long time, I wanted to build my own sound library instead of scouting the internet looking for royalty-free sounds. So I purchased my first audio field recorder. I would go out to different locations and record five or so minutes of environmental ambience and would loop them together. Wind, rain, birds, thunder, waterfalls, streams, you name it. Some of these ambient environments are completely artificial, using many layers of various sounds. Sometimes I use synthesizer plugins, like for white noise or for low end rumble. Many times I will repurpose old sounds that I previously recorded to make something new. I'm a big horror fan, and I absolutely love creating not just musical textures for horror, but creating these frightening creature noises. I love taking different animal recordings, pitching them down and meshing them together to make this horrid, unearthly sound. My imagination runs wild, and I'm always in my element. Hello? 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 I just heard it again. Dude, holy... Hello? Here's some work that I did that I'm quite proud of. I have a family member that flies drones for real estate purposes. He sent me this clip via email and asked me if I would overlay music on top of it. Originally, there are no audio recording features on his drone. So I instead built my own sound design on top of it to make it feel like the drone actually picked up real world audio. The majority of the sounds you are hearing were field recordings that I took months prior. A few were sourced from online. I basically layered everything to bring it to life and this was the end result. It was quite challenging, but I love a good challenge in this line of work. The next series of clips were sourced from pixabay.com, where you can find royalty-free stock footage under Creative Commons.
Like the drone footage you just viewed, these clips originally are silent with no audio. By me just watching and observing them a few times, I get a good idea of what kind of layers and textures I want to create to make them seem believable. For a long time, I've had some friends and family members tell me that I have no marketable skills because I didn't take up a skilled trade like carpentry or welding, or I didn't become a technical engineer. I know that when they say I have no marketable skills, clearly, they don't know what I actually do and how I've been honing my craft for the past decade. I wanted to use this short documentary to show people what I actually have been doing with my life for the past decade. I wanted to use this short film to showcase all of my skills and make my way out into the world and collaborate with others who are chasing the same dream. I don't know where I'll be in the next five years, or where this road will take me, but I am excited for the future, and I am ever so grateful. Thanks for watching. <laughs>